typically a program assessment will begin with defining the scope of the program assessment. So you want to make sure that you're in agreement um, on exactly what you're assessing. And then you would look at documents related to the program, both to get a sense of how the program is intended to be designed and is designed and how the program is being implemented. Then uh, the reviewer typically conducts interviews of a variety of people, both, who, both people with sort of um, direct responsibility for the program and others. Um, maybe conduct focus groups or conduct a survey in order to get a better sense of how employees perceive the program and the company's commitment to compliance. Uh, the reviewer then typically um, formulates some preliminary recommendations and findings. Usually you go over those with the ethics and compliance folks to ensure that the reviewer hasn't gotten something wrong, and that the recommendations make sense for the organization, and then um, draft a report, which is typically presented to certainly the compliance and ethics team, um, also senior leadership, and hopefully to the audit committee of the board as well.